Hi folks, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Sunday morning, fabulous day in London, again, so there'll be much uh, cooking on the barbecue later. Uh, just uh, been doing watercolours all week for you, so as you know, so I'll pull out some linseed oil with a bit of dryer. Oh, come on, come on, come off. These are very annoying, these uh, childproof caps, aren't they? Because eventually, oh, I don't really need that. I'm going to do a knife painting. Oh, well, never mind, it's there. In case I decide to do some of the brush. Uh, no idea what I'm going to do. Uh, something very simple for a Sunday morning. I'll just get some paper ready. A couple of... I was going to give up on this setup. I can only use it for the small paintings, but um, I'm getting in the, in the habit of putting my knuckles through the ultramarine or the cadmium red. Well, so, so they're two colours, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, some cadmium yellow, pale and yellow ochre. I will probably won't use much of them, but uh, I was thinking of a, a sort of a meadowy scene, something simple. So I thought, but I, I want to do a sort of a dramatic sky. So, so let's put some put some trees and something like that. Just just a little a memoir. Uh, now I'm going to start in the, down here, I think. Well, no, I'm going to start with the light sky and then put some dark colour coming over the, over the land here with some bright green on the trees catching the light from above. So, uh, so let's... Uh, yellow ochre, bit of red. See what happens. Bit of, so a bit of cash yellow in there. Oops, turn that off. I put that on so that I can position my board with the tabs. Thanks, Barry, for a great idea. Don't usually start with a nice light top, but uh, I might use some of that in the oil just to get this uh, blended. Well, as you know, I I do love this way of painting. And push the paint paint in. Okay, let's uh, find a brush. Of the any old brush, the worn out ones. Right, okay, let's uh, uh, let's go for a bit of dark now. Here's my larger knife here. So let's have a bit of bit of that, a bit of cad red, a touch of white. A bit of a Payne's grain there as well. I 
Right, there we are. Quite interesting. Just clean the brush. But before I clean the brush, I've got to find a bit of toweling to clean it on. Oh, here we are. If you get into oil painting, you're going to need a big supply of toweling. People's old white clean towel. Oh, not necessarily white. Just to drag the brush through so you don't have to clean your brushes in spirit or other toxic chemicals. I clean my brush or brushes at the end. Right, okay, a touch of oil. Okay, let's just blend that around the edges. See if we can get some lighter. So it's sort of knife and brush painting. We get a sort of a storm coming over a quiet meadow. Okay, we can go back over that if we uh, get another idea. Right, okay, so we've got quite a bit of dark then. Not a dark that uh, I particularly like, it's a bit too mauve. But I could use light red or red ochre or something like that, or even burnt sienna. But I want. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll get rid of that cad red because it's not working for me on this. I'll go into some red ochre. Keep them nice and clean off there. Moves a bit of the uh, Payne's grey with it. I'm not after uh, um, anything graphic or representing an exact view of something. I just want to capture a, the um, cloud coming up over this hill. Maybe a bit of white with that, I don't know. That's a, Right, well let's uh, 
That didn't work, did it? No. Go bad with that red. Okay, get to the knives. Paper in hand, finish the tea. And we we'll get some Cajello, some uh, Ultramarine and some Bursiana. Darken some of that in a moment. Right. Okay, now a bit, bit darker now. Can you see the mixing? More or less. Can move up a bit with them. It's got a bit of red in that. Some warm on Just mix up some uh, more ultramarine, burnt sienna, 
and Cajello. This gives a wonderful green. And we can add on some highlights. Not sure about this, I can alter this, but I want to get the contrast between the light and the dark and the light in the sky or in the background clouds or whatever coming into here. I might even put another pond in, I like doing pond, ponds. Just burnt sienna and a bit of a bit of the yellow. I think my principle of dinner was is not to make it over complicated. Keep it simple, stupid kiss. Right, we're we'll just getting that bit of bit of light on here. And then we'll put some darks in. It's just ordinary, yeah, it's just ordinary green now. Payne's grey and cat yellow. Well, we put some wild flowers in there or something. But what lovely, you want some variety in the greens. To catch that light. Bit of uh, ochre. Now we will have a bit of shadow there, so let's get a bit of a shadowy colour. That's not a bad sort of a shadowy colour. So we're catching a little bit of light coming in. I'm going to put some of that shadow back in.
What are we doing? It's got a bit of darker colour. Blur, I was just trying to blur some of that. The light coming through. Oh, we've got a darker green down in the bottom here. I find that uh, the um, Payne's Grey is a very good colour for this. I used to use a lot of black, but uh, So I get these lights in here. All right, we'll put a bit of um. Pushy stuff. A path along there.
Just merge, I think. Just a bit of a ochre with a bit of a yellow. So I need to get to this, it gets the contrast better there. Uh, here. Uh, does it hang together? I like that now, but there's not a lot of variety in it though. So maybe we can uh, get some of that red. Oh, a bit better. Uh, let's get the light on here. Some contrast 
in here. It's all about light against dark. It's, uh, tones. It's supposed to be a tree, but it's not very good, is it? Look for the shapes that you don't like, the jar, and repetition, you don't want to repeat. I'm not very happy with that bit there. Foreground, well, foreground's foreground, isn't it? Uh, probably need a bit more green in here. Plenty of uh, variety. <coughs> uh, um, I'm thinking about a few poppies. Why not? Back with the cad red that I scraped off earlier. Oh no, I can still use it. It's on the sheet here. There we are, a bit of red. Um, I'll add a lump of yellow to that. And we'll get a good little brush and just dub a few bits. Some white, that ain't white. <laughs> Probably a bit, bit off, but a bit blue. <sighs> well, it's a painting. I'll, I'll put it in a mount. I'll just take that off. Where the frame, should I say? Be careful here. Knife. Ah, oh, I know. It's going to slide down, so let's have some means of stopping it. Oops. I 
I'll put that in there. Let's patch you the dog next door. Well, okay, well, that's so bad, is it? Fun to do, it's not very realistic, but um, hey, you, you just keep ploughing on. Just, just go for it. Do you like the black frame? It was white a week or so ago. It started to chip off a bit. I might touch it up with a bit of black. Uh, it, it has more dramatic effect with the light, doesn't it, in the picture than the white. It, the white seems to diminish the lights, but here, well, I'd like to do an abstract stained window to put in this. Maybe I'll do that in my next painting. But anyway, I'll get this uploaded and I hope you like it, folks. Not one of my best, I must admit, but... Uh, but it's a painting to painting. Everyone brings you a little bit closer to where you want to be. And when you get to where you want to be, give up. Because you haven't reached it. Right, enjoy your day. And keep safe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.